As a local foodie, Stephen Fries believed that the pudding his mother made could only be made from a box, but now he only makes it from scratch. Stephen's back with me on the show. So I guess your mom made pudding a lot for you. It was so she good. Did. I but... love the skin top on the top. <laughs> That's what I like to do when it cools it the... off a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. And I was in a diner a couple of weeks ago, and the lunch special came with chocolate pudding uh, or any pudding, yeah. and I chose chocolate pudding. And it brought back such memories. I went through my vintage recipe uh, cookbooks, mm -hmm. and this little guy over here. Uh, you've, from you've had that in some years, haven't I've you? I've had it for, well, I collect them, so <laughs> I might not have had it, but somebody did, and it was a hand me down. But anyway, I was reading this recipe, and uh, I said, wow, this is terrific. So I now realize that you can make chocolate pudding not from a box. I don't think I've ever had it not from a box. Well, we're I'm about to. Today. So All what right. I've done here is I've taken one can of the sweetened condensed milk, one and a half cups of water, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. I needed to get that going. Okay. And then what I'm going to have you do is pour slowly the slowly. water into three tablespoons of cornstarch. And while you're doing that, I'm going to take three unsweetened chunks of chocolate. chocolate okay. And we're going to melt that in there. And also what I'm going to do is, uh, which uh, is quite easy, most people don't use homemade whipped cream. It's so oh, easy to make. Oh, but it makes make. such a difference, it doesn't does. it? No chemicals. So I'm going to go and start that over here because that's going to take a few minutes. Well, this so, is getting stiff on me. What's that's going good, on? That's good. That's good. Just keep on stirring. <laughs> okay, just keep on stirring. Like and, uh, tricky. No, it is tricky. And just get that as uh, combined as you can. Just okay. add it slowly. And I'm going to turn this on. Oh, there we go. Now it's working for me. And I'm going to get that started. And I'm going to stir this. And today, rather than using vanilla extract, I am going to use chocolate extract. A Which while is interesting. I didn't know it existed. Yes. I only really thought it was vanilla Stellar. extract. Ooh, it's delightful. Mm, so I'm going to add about a quarter of a teaspoon. And that really enhances the flavor. And my column last week actually has this recipe. It's also up on the uh, TNH website, website okay, as well. Okay, great. We could find it then. And what I found uh, in doing some research is that uh, Eagle Brand had a contest, and a, the winning recipe was oh. actually for savory acorn squash soup. Ooh. So I'm, I'm quite anxious to try yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, it must be a little bit sweet, it's I would assume, be. right? Yeah, and there's the uh, column that was from last week. And this is the book that it came from, this recipe. Wow, Isn't that that's great? terrific. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to try this. So, Stephen, I know while this is cooking, you have a lot of things going on. Oh, yeah. We got the <laughs> next walking tour on July 14th. We okay. had one last week, which was wonderful. We had people that were repeating the tour. They liked it so much, they bought oh, new friends. Good. And then we had people from Brooklyn, New York that came up as well. Wow, so the tours very nice. always end up with people from uh, the tri-state area. We've had people visiting from California on the tour. Mm -hmm. So July 14th, we have 10 restaurant stops, and there are a few uh, available tickets. Uh, seats, tickets available for that. And uh, as many people know, uh, Gateway Community College, or the faculty, is moving downtown to a brand new campus. Wow. And I'm packing up 26 years worth of stuff. Oh, that's a lot of belongings. A lot of cookbooks, that's <laughs> for bet. sure. And uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful facility. We're All excited right. about that. We're Do I need to put that, this in yep, here? And I'll stir this while you're putting that in. All right, we have about a minute left. And this is going to thicken. And it's going to take about four or five minutes to thicken, but it's going to look like this. It's beautiful. And I'm gonna I'll add, keep stirring for you. Keep stirring. And I'm going to add, this is three tablespoons of confection of sugar. Okay. And I'm going to add my homemade vanilla extract. Ooh. This is great, though, because you really could tell all the ingredients that are going Absolutely. into the dessert. Absolutely. You know, the stuff that they sell in the can and then the prepared frozen section, mm -hmm. whipped cream, uh, read the ingredients. And, you don't uh, want to eat. You can't pronounce half the items in it. This is very simple. And you can see that uh, it's whipping up, and we'll put some dabs on that, and um, we'll taste it all in right. a few minutes. Yeah, we'll taste it at the end of the show. That sounds great. And, of course, go to WTNH.com and click on Connecticut Style. We'll have the recipe there.